format okay and as they have not disclosed the price but let me know you what are the prices first let me start my recording okay now let me share my screen so i was talking about the prices so the prices are basically you will be getting if you are the top commenter on the video for first 20 videos of any playlist of any playlist okay either it can be python c or c plus plus or java whatever is going on so you will be getting <laughs> goodies from Korea and it will be printed either it will be a t-shirt or any bottle or whatever anything but it will be a special gift okay remember one thing so now let me move to my <coughs> python patch okay today is our lecture 7 let me make a folder and <coughs> have you gone through the uh, drive i have uploaded all the code there itself how many of you have gone through the drive i have provided the link for the google drive yes in that there is all thing properly means all things are saturated properly okay if those who have missed the lecture please go through it i have provided all the code as well as notes so i am starting my jupyter notebook and we will be begin with the for loop yeah <laughs> let me write here python 3 selecting my notebook And remaining at remaining remaining at the file. So is my screen visible to all properly? Please let me know. Is it visible? It is looking the cell is looking to you. Are you able to see the cell? Yes. Yes. Okay. So please now focus and those who are doing with me side by side, please do it. Okay. So we are moving with a while loop. So basic thing about a while loop, starting with a while loop. So you need to remember first the thing is that while loop. So in this one thing is to remember basically the first thing is the syntax. Okay. Whenever you write a while loop, see the syntax. While your condition and after that indentation, generally you can see it follows the four spaces properly. Go with a proper indentation. Then you need to write, let me write it in a mm, yeah this is another way of writing a documentation or a text or a comment okay you can follow this triple column and as well as triple column for closing okay remember this thing so let me write a while while and then condition whatever condition you want to write then your four spaces that is your indentation then in that you need to write code whatever code you need to be that code will be code to be executed okay while the condition is true whenever your condition will be true this part will be going to execute first thing and what is second thing so here also <coughs> this block basically this is a block okay so this block will continue up to when so this block will continue to run until until the condition until the condition becomes false okay this block will be going to run until the condition becomes false so i hope simple while loop syntax you can see this is a basic syntax how we can write a while loop as we have seen for the for loop so what is the difference here so let me uh, take you with the example so focus here now so let me write an example one in front of you a simple example of printing print numbers from from 1 to 10 okay now see how i'll be printing it simple thing first i will be going to initialize a equal to 1 why a equal to 1 let's see so i will be writing a condition for it the condition will be a less than equal to a less than equal to 10 okay so in that you can see as we have done this part while condition i have written properly while a less than equal to 10 good so here i will be printing a okay 
it is a good part you are printing a a but this condition will be going to run simultaneously because your a is only one and there is no part where your condition will going to become false as it is written here this block will continue to run until the condition become false for making it false you need to write a plus a plus one the reason of writing this statement is that it will be going to increment your one as you will be going to execute this while loop okay so whenever this become 10 your condition uh, whenever it going to become a 11 then whenever your a will be going to become 11 it will be going to terminate let's say 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 is printed in front of you in a simple manner okay so have you got some understanding of a while loop from this example yes or no basic understanding yes 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 okay so see with another example if you don't understand from this example let's see because if you're practicing then only you will be going to understand the thing so suppose now uh, let me take another good example so you will understand so uh, we can um, take a code of simple code i want to take a simple code so let me write a code for it any simple code yeah suppose this is a good code okay i am taking down count count equal to zero so remember this count for count declaring account initializing account you will be going to use in lot many programs whenever you are initializing account remember whenever there is a requirement of using account suppose you want to count something anyone you want to do something so remember name it as account didn't go for writing a b or c please simply write as account okay it will be good for understanding purpose so what i have done here let me explain so those who are not understand they will be going to understand i am doing here initialize initialize variable okay i have initialized a variable in front of you second step i will be doing the in this question i will be doing the i am setting the condition i will going to set the condition for the while loop i will going to set the condition for a while loop so that condition is front of you simple condition writing while same code like above while count less than so here you can see uh, my code will be going to execute for count 0 1 2 3 4 I, at the point 5 will be going to get, to get it will be going to stop but what it will be doing it will be doing a simple thing in front of you so i, I have explained you the concept of a f can anyone let me know what is this f i have mentioned from above or from onwards i will be using this f what is this f yes anyone what is this f F string f string okay you can also call it as a format string literal okay basically it is a good way of printing why it is a good way it uh, in this we need to not need to separate with the comma and this whole thing only simply write count is and whatever you want to print i want to print this count i will be writing in a curly braces let's see now next step next thing will be your is your increment the count i need to increment my count variable so at that point i will be getting some condition where my code will be going to become a false count plus equal to one and if i want to check is my this code is working finish is my code have worked properly how can i check when the code will be going to terminate you can simply write any print statement here suppose i can write here loop finish if i want to check that yes my loop is finished and i will be getting this line printed see the output <coughs> count first the count will be zero yes good then it will be one then it will be two then it will be three and it will be four Where at the time when the five occurs the statement will be going to this our while loop will be going to terminate itself and we will be getting this loop finish print in front of you is this clear yes yeah yes. so please uh, note this simple simple example so you will be getting a good understanding of a while loop okay so let me move further i will be taking uh, more good examples example see so here we can uh, now deal with some i have one question here for front of you sum up the number okay sum up the number this is a question sum up the number till some point okay uh, basically this question is asked in such a way that uh, uh, there will be much uh, you want to take a uh, input basically int input 
and you have to mention a starting point as well as a counter. So you need to give a particular thing to that input means some uh, some of the number till the uh, some point. It means that it will go into some up to that point. For example, for example, C and focus on the code. Int. I am going to take a input from users. So as the question mentioned itself, so I will say the user enter the enter the number. So user can enter any number. Okay. After entering the number, okay. Now it will be fine. Yeah. Enter the number. So I can mention some starting point. Starting point. So starting point will be when you are doing the sum. Remember, starting point should be zero. Whenever you are going or dealing with the sum. And here I will specify one counter equal to one. Why counter equal to one? Now just see. So the condition will be by counter. Less than equal to n. N will be your input which you will be going to take from the user. Okay, and your starting, your starting point is equal to starting point. Let me write in this way: starting point plus one. Okay. Then your counter will be also incrementing counter equal to counter plus one. And let me print a starting point. Let me check what will be the output I will be getting here. Enter the number five. You will be getting a five. The reason why anyone can let me know why I am getting a Y here. Anyone? Why do I get a Y five here? So listen here. Starting point is zero. I am incrementing with the one. Okay, that's why I'm getting a five uh, five here in front of you. So I could write here as you can say I got a one twenty answer. So let me write here five for you. So remember, I have written here one, but I need to write the counter. Remember this thing. I have written one here. What the thing happened? Let me take a small number three. The output I got a three, and I am printing a starting point. So you can see in this condition, there is nothing thing that will be going to update. Only the my code will be going to execute three times, and I will be getting a three as the output because I am only incrementing with a one. But as per my code, I need a counter here. Why counter? You can see, I am taking counter as a one here, okay? But at the here the condition is I am checking that counter less than equal to one. So it will be iterating for the counter. First my counter will be one, two, and then at the time say third time it will be three. The reason is I am providing the input here. For five, it will be fifteen. So you can do one plus two plus three plus four plus five. The output will be fifteen. So is this question clear? Is this question clear to all? Yes, anyone? <coughs> yes. So remember one thing: it is made a complicated. It uh, means the interviewer make it complicated. The simple thing is you need to do only the addition. Okay, you need to only do the addition. But why? What the interviewer do basically? They ask the question in such a way. You need to use these two things. You need to use do, uh, these two things. Okay, so this remember this point. Okay, there is nothing a big deal in this question. So we can see one more question, and that is a very favorite question of any interviewer, and he is always <coughs> always interested to ask this question. And that question is, you might also know this question. The question example number four. Let me write it as a Fibonacci series. But let me ask you: How many of you know what is a Fibonacci series? Have you know about a Fibonacci series? Have you learned about a Fibonacci series? Yeah, other I know. What about others? What about others? Please let me know if you know. Okay, Harsh also know. Shweta also know. Okay, so it is a very good thing if you know the Fibonacci series. Okay, so again a very basic and simple example of Fibonacci series, and it is a very very famous question. Okay, remember this thing. Remember the logic behind it. A very simple question. Okay, Amrit also know. Very good. So see. <coughs> Fibonacci series. Generally, what is a Fibonacci series? First number in Fibonacci is a zero. Then second is a one. Then whatever will be the sum of zero and one will be your third number. That is one. Then again, whatever will be the sum of your these two number one one that will be two. I am writing two here. Then sum of these two number one plus two that is your three. And then three two three plus two will be five. Then five plus three will be eight. Basically, this is the Way which or the order the your Fibonacci series follows. Okay, for this we have to write a simple code. 
a very simple course not any big deal just a simple thing you need to remember one condition then what is that condition see here let me take a number input from the user taking a input is a very good thing okay remember this thing it makes your code user friendly so user can give lot many input and check for the different errors entering the number from the user and here i will be going to take two variables that is your zero and one i will be naming it as a suppose a b and it will be zero and one i will be initializing a b as a zero one why zero one because of fibonacci so it starts with the zero and one and we will be doing a code on these two things only okay now see how how we'll be doing so as i mentioned previous also no you need to write a proper name when you are doing some counting or even you are increasing you are updating your thing so please write a proper name okay counter equal to counter i am writing a counter counter equal to counter plus one and now see here what the thing is happening while my counter while my counter is less than equal to your number okay and you remember the thing this will be my condition whenever this thing will be getting false my code will be going to stop okay now see here the what is the condition so the first thing is that you need to print you need to print a why you need to print a because the first number is your itself zero and we have initialized a with a zero okay very good we have initialized a with a zero and we are printing it what what about other numbers so see i will be taking a third variable and i will be writing here a plus b why a plus b a plus b it will be one means i will be getting my third output okay i will be getting my third result okay means i have i know my, what is my a i know what is my b and i also know what is my c but i am only printing a so how can i print others so see what is the condition for it so you need to write a equal to b now why a equal to b so at the first time your a was a zero now your a becomes one okay now your a becomes one and b equal to c and b equal to c so see the this case this condition remember this condition okay remember remember this condition so at this point of time your a is one and your uh, b is also one so remember your c will be also getting one as the code will be going to update it the values will be going to change and you are going to print the value of a here itself you are going to going to be printing the value of a here itself now see what will be happening here let me write your counter equal to counter plus one and let me run it uh, let me enter first uh, how, how many numbers have written one two three four two three four five six seven okay first seven fibonacci series okay i got output zero can anyone let me know where i got a mistake where i've done the mistake okay can anyone let me know where i've done the mistake a simple mistake i have done in front of you anyone simple mistake in front of you can anyone identify the mistake while is explaining you i have done that mistake can anyone let me know counter yeah. is not initialized yeah very good i was explaining you about this part and i have i have written this thing here itself okay let me write zero now let me write a five the first five fibonacci series in, is in front of you that is 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 uh, let me check for first seven okay okay so you can getting the, you are we are getting the result so 5 plus 8 will be next uh, number will be 13 so hope uh, this question a very good question is clear to all yes or no yes or no yes yes okay uh, let me know have you ex I means have you understand the question what is the logic behind it Yes, Tanishka understood. What about others? Okay, good. So now let me move with uh, some another good question. So see, we will take a good question again. One. <coughs> okay, here is itself my screen. Example number four is done. Let me write here. Example five. Okay. So here we will be dealing, as we have also done this question in I think multiplication. That is your, uh, that is your table of numbers. Table of numbers. Same thing, just in a while loop. I want to write in the same thing. I will be doing, but I need to write this time in a while loop. Okay. 
so we know that thing let me take a let me take a number input from the user it is always good thing taking number input from the user so user can give anything and work according to that our code will be going to work uh, we do we know that table starts from one means uh, it never start that zero always uh, multiplying anything with a zero answer will be zero so we start from one so my condition will be while i less than equal to 10 as we go up to the 10 we can go up to 20 if you want you can take go up to 20 no worries it depends on us our mood whatever you want then i will be uh, storing in the result that n star i n star i let me write i only taken a number so let me write number star i number star, star i means your number will be suppose 5 5 1 za 5 2 za 5 3 za 15 so this output will be going to store in your result variable remember this thing okay so but i want to print in a proper format and i want to print in it your which format that is your in table format so I'll let me write in this proper way you can write in this way beyond let me write a number i have a habit of writing in that i but i have taken number so number into suppose five into one that is your i the next thing will be your equal to and then your will be the thing of result then you will be the result and let me <coughs> update my i that is increment now let me print it five so you can see i got a table for the five okay five ones are five five twos are ten five threes are fifteen up to the five twenties i got a table up to twenty uh as i mentioned uh, you should follow the format uh f strings so let me write in f string it will be good thing okay so let me write print f <coughs> then you are a double invert comma and that i will write now number number then into then your i same thing i am writing you can see instead of comma i have means yeah, instead of comma and my time will be going to reduce as well as whatever i want to print i will be going to write in a curly braces whatever thing i want to display i will be going to write in curly braces okay equal to and your and your result same thing you can see now output and the file you can see the output so yeah have you understand this question yes okay so we can move with the uh, next question so next question uh, let me think what can i took a uh, very good question in simple question so you can un also understand it <coughs> so we can also add if you want let me take this example so you can also understand how we can use a if a statement in it okay so let me take example six example six and here basically i want to explain you the concept of a break as well as i will want to explain you the continue simple example i am taking where i will be explaining you the break and continue both the things properly break and continue see a simple code in front of you let me write my n is equal to 10 i is equal to 1 simple i will be printing the range of particular number while i less than n and in this i will be writing that print i okay it will be going to print my i and see here how i will be using now if condition so if my i become equal equal to three so you need to break here i will be simply writing break and after that i is equal to i plus one or else in else part i will write that else else print print that this will be writing anything is any statement this will be uh, suppose executed okay so here you can see the condition if my i could be, i will be going to become a three my code will be going to break so what is break is generally doing see now here okay what is now error here okay sorry sorry for that you can also write in this format okay while else i don't know how many of you know about this but uh, you can write in this format you can use a uh, else else with a while else with a while you can see this code will be going to executed i got this output but i need output this thing let me check what i have written wrong in this code 
when 10 is going to work i equal to i is equal to yeah anyone what is the mistake i equal to i where is i equal to i i where? is equal to 1 oh, sorry, second line sorry. sorry one now you can see i got a 1 to 3 you can see 1 2 3 means you are paying attention that is a very big deal okay i have written in speed speed that i equal to i very good very good you are paying attention it means okay now see i got a 1 2 3 in front of you but according to my code according to my code it should go up to the 10 and i should got uh, should get output i uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but here we are use the concept of a break remember this thing break is what doing whenever your this condition will be going to become true it will be going to break at that point it will be the code will be going to break at that point okay it will be not moving ahead it will be going to terminate okay let me uh, change it to continue now see now see what is happening you can see in ultimate it will be going to print the same thing you can see the 33333 it is not stopping okay now let me uh, let me terminate this code okay just a minute it is running up till now let me write here again the break thing now it is stopped okay so you can see whenever your terminal means this jupyter notebook goes in infinite loop you get a yes star you get a yes star you can see the star i got means now my all cells are stop you can see you can see star for this thing just go and restart your kernel okay whenever this thing occurs please go and restart your kernel okay now i am explaining you with the concept of your continue and break again in a while loop okay see now what thing i made a mistake here where were we okay wait for wait for just a minute i will start it again okay i think it is got stuck now see yeah now let me go to here so i can execute directly to see where is terminal let me start it again let me start it again okay so here i will be taking a <coughs> good example i will be explaining you the concept properly now see here so let me write a example 7 and in this example i will be explaining you the concept of your both uh, loops prop uh, both uh, that is a <coughs> break statement as well as i will explain you the continue okay so see how to, how we can go with this example so we will be understanding the both the things Uh, let me take a thing for you one example so i can move with the proper way mm, what can i take up with simple example so you can understand anyone with example anyone knows so we can check your knowledge as well anyone interested so let me know some code from your side if no so let me begin so first thing let me write again your count okay count equal to 5 as we know the condition simple things we are writing here that is your while loop and let me write now count greater than 0 simple thing writing same thing again explaining with a simple concept and one thing mention that please use f string whenever you are now printing so let me write count and your count okay printing the count for you and i want to go in a negative direction means i want to print 5 4 3 2 1 in that way okay so can anyone let me know what can i write for it here condition what will be the condition i want to go in reverse order 
if anyone count equals to count minus 1 okay you can write in that way also and you can write in this way also no uh, not in any different thing okay and let me print here so you can came to know that our thing is stop here means our code is while loop is executed properly so let me write here done so you can see in this way we can print a in a reverse order just we have used a decrement operator just we have used a decrement operator so mainly whenever we are dealing with a uh, different questions as it depends on the question to question which thing as many many questions we saw we are basically using the increment we are always incrementing okay but here is a good example so you can come to know how we can do this thing also that the concept i want to explain you that is what your decrement how can you use the decrement okay uh this is the entire question now i am taking for you please now focus here so in this question the question is that print or numbers and through this question i will be explaining you the concept of uh, continue so you can understand the continue as you know out is a break break to terminate and continue to skip any statement to uh, sorry to skip any thing which you want to skip from the particular block so how can we do this thing see here so if you want to print the odd numbers in the range in the range or 1 to 5 i am taking a simple range so you can understand through this using a while loop so this is a question generally asked you know what is the question basically the what is the logic and print on numbers in the range 1 to 5 using a while loop and continue and continue statement means your continue how to use a continue here see so i will be writing here your number first number equal to 1 i will be going up to the range that is a number less than equal to 5 you can go with a more range but first understand so i want to print odd numbers so i know what is the condition for the odd numbers so i will be writing using the help of as i know for the even condition the condition is this i don't know how many of you know this condition i hope this condition all knows if number percent to equal equal to 0 it means that we are checking for even yes everyone know this condition is this condition everyone know yes okay no see yes so basically what happens here see here after writing this thing we will be going to increase our count okay increase our number and i will be writing here continue why i am writing continue here it is a very important thing now see so let me write here or oh, anyone has unmute uh, his or her mic please uh, mute it please mute it odd number now number mm and uh, after this after this writing this uh, i i am incrementing keeping the uh, printing even numbers whatever the why am i written this thing let me write here with the help of a comment for you let me write in a proper way so you can understand the logic what is the logic behind this code keep keep printing even number even numbers it will be going to skip the skip the printing of the even numbers and here it will be going to printing your it will be printing print odd numbers okay and the thing is now of your mm, increment the number increment the number for the next iteration let me check my code okay something what is the mistake anyone there is a problem i think in the indentation there is not problem in the indentation i have not written this line now see this is a very big mistake repeating i am again repeating it. whenever your code goes in the infinite loop this thing happens this thing happens you can see again i got a star is a very difficult thing okay when you are dealing with the code na this thing happens yeah, you can see all the things got stuck all the things basically got stuck 
majorly it should uh, be you can you can restart the kernel but the when you are restarting and running all the cells it will be going to go execute all the things from first and we have taken an input function we have used the input function so it will be going to execute all the input functions okay now see where were we where were we okay except mm -hmm. now see okay again same thing getting let me start it how many of you occurs this time this means uh run time means whenever your jupyter notebook talks suddenly what are the things you do i mean, you know what are the things you need to follow whenever this thing happens can anyone let me know you can restart the kernel very good thing but if you have taken lot many input there will be again big issue okay now see basically when we are uh, writing a code for a pandas or working with a numpy working with a data set it is the uh, means there is you can see your lines of code will be lot many okay lot many lines of code you write basically fb now see okay so you can see output out or number one or number three or number five so simple thing to remember we can print means we can print a simple thing here itself here itself that uh this condition follows go with the else part but in question it is asked please use the this statement continuous statement okay so what your continuous statement do whenever this condition whenever this condition become true it will be not considering that number it will be doing the number plus one that is where it will be keeping even number it will be not considering even number it will be considering the odd number so that's why the reason we have used the continue here hope this question is clear to us yes or no yes or no yes uh, please note this example okay please note this example because generally what we write in a simple manner what we write in a simple manner let me write in the simple manner so let me copy this itself here and let me paste it here we didn't use this thing okay as we know as we know if this thing happens uh, we will going to suppose if number percent two equal equal to zero we will write uh, print uh, what is your e okay let me write in this way so you will understanding if number percent two mm, what can i uh, i can write in you simple way so you can understand So in this way we generally write okay in this way we generally write but according to question mentioned we need to use a continue so here we shouldn't got stuck okay because this condition need to be remembered this condition need to be remembered hope it is clear to all what about all have you understand this question or you need to extend me a one second what the what is the thing please let me know Yes, anyone? You can give the thumbs up if you understand. Okay, Harsh understood. What about others? Okay, Ashwini. Yeah, good. Uh, so we can move with uh, one more example. A good example. Let me take now. <coughs> Have you heard about the patterns? Have you heard about the word pattern? There are different pattern printing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we can print a pattern with the help of a for loop as well as your while loop. Okay. So let me uh, <coughs> print some simple pattern in front of you. So uh, this is a pattern. See now. And this will be the today's last question. Mm -hmm. And in further, I will be taking lot many patterns question because pattern questions are lot many important thing. Okay. So let me write here the in front of you first the pattern. So what is the pattern? So in front of you. This is the pattern, and you need to print this pattern. That is basically called as a right angle triangle. A very very famous and good question, and very simple logic. Okay, so this is example in front of you. So let me 
let me write it example number eight this was example number nine without using a walk for continue statement and this will be the example 10 you know example 10 so here we need to print this print the pattern print the pattern okay see now uh, we can go with the for loop as well as the while loop but we are learning a while loop let me continue with the while loop first thing see this pattern properly and the thing we will going to start with is your we will initialize first row is equal to one as you can see we will uh, starting with the row one wait me right here condition that is while or row while row less than equal to five you can see there are five basically one two three four five five rows are there i am going with the five okay according to it you can make it a user friendly also according to your thing you can make it a user friendly no worries let me print in front of you let me print in front of you star that is your row uh, in this way i can go with okay let me write in this way what is this if you don't know let me explain this part okay so basically inside the loop it prints a line of asterisk means it will be going to print the line of asterisk where the count of asterisk on each line is determined where your count will be also going to determine as well as by the value of row it will be going to increase so this is a new concept i am writing in front of you uh, i have done this concept but even i also don't know what will be the output okay but i have printed in this way let me check it is working or not okay value error value of the string must be or row so this was the one way but it is going giving me the error row equal to one is working fine while row less than equal to five print okay sorry for this part now see now see i have written your comma okay now see have you have you printed this in this way in this way there is another way i know but have you printed in this way have you know this uh, concept what is this concept anyone please let me know have you know this concept what is this no. part no so basically what happened with me also i have printed using the two while loop means two while loop where we consider one for a row as well as column but the person who was who was taking my interview he want me to print in this way i also don't know what was that but i came to know the detailed explanation of it so what happened basically here see here basically one thing i know that yes you are row equal to one very good then after that we have applied our condition and our condition is telling we will go up to five okay i understand this part also but what was this print okay i never means i also not saw this what was this print was doing here okay so according to that what he explains me in your iteration you will be going to print this star okay very good i know that i will be going to print a star but it uh, it will be <coughs> going to print this one two and three but how will we going to work for this other thing how will it be going to work for this other thing so what it tells with the help of this with the help of this what happens basically in the second iteration it will be going for the two ht and the loop will be going to continues and your the loop will be going to continue up when the your condition that is your five will be becoming true means basically this indicates your row first time your row is one the second time your row will, row will be two then third time your row will be three and if your row is three then it will be going to printing three star if your row is four it will be going to printing four star if your row is uh, five it will be printing five star so this was the concept means it was indicating that if, when my row is one it will be going to print one star when my row is two it will be going to print two star this is a shortcut of writing hope this concept is clear to all yes or no you can try in your pc also hope this concept is clear to all please let me know it is a very important thing you can execute a very important concept okay as generally we follow how many of you printed this uh, pattern with the help of two while loops or two for loops how many of you printed please let me know i also printed yes anyone you have printed a, this thing yes or no yes yes harsh yes other students yes but you can go with this way also uh, this answer my interviewer was expecting but i was not able to answer because i don't know this concept okay but this the thing i want to explain was this please remember this note it properly okay so yeah today we covered 10 examples and we will be moving further with our next session on which day 
on Wednesday. Today is Monday. We will be continuing on uh, Wednesday. How many of you are practicing and solving the questions which are provided in YouTube description? How many of you? Yes. Okay, Harsh. So as I mentioned, there are some gifts for you. Okay. If you are doing it properly, you will be eligible for it. Okay. Please do it properly. So how many of you have done now code with me side by side? How many of you are doing with me side by side? Veta, very good. Have you understand the concept? Yes or no? Have you understood in the proper manner? In proper way? You can see I am writing in front of you. I am not means uh, testing or copying or anything. I am not sitting with any notebook or anything with me. I am just writing code in front of you. I am making mistake in front of you. Okay, you should understand. You should learn from my mistake. That is the reason I am writing live in front of you. Okay, you can see the mistakes in front of uh, you or whatever simple simple kind of mistake I am making. Same mistake you will going to also making because it is a code. Okay, at the end it deals with the some errors which are from our side or from others. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the session. Please let me know through one word how was today's session. I hope you learn lot many things today. New things something? Yes or no? Yes, you can uh, explain in one word in the comment. So I can came to know about it. Okay, great. I thought it was taking a, okay, great, good. Great, okay. Uh, so I need you to provide some screenshot of your course so I can came to know that you are doing with me. Okay. Atharva, Harsh, Vaishnavi, Ashwini, Shweta. So you can provide some screenshot of your code in the group itself. So I will come to know that you are doing. And those students who are commenting in the YouTube description, that will be good. You, I think there you need to provide a link. Whatever thing you are doing, please make a proper word of it or any Jupyter notebook. You can provide the link of Jupyter notebook also in the YouTube description. You can follow that format if you want to be eligible for the certification as well as goodies from the Kodia. Okay. Okay. So here I will be stopping. So today's session and we will meet in the next session till that time uh, keep coding enjoy your coding keep learning bye bye